Tai Chi Chuan, Ta Ji Kan, is an ancient Chinese internal or subtle martial art practiced for its health and spiritual benefits. This exercise is non-competitive, subtle, and generally slow. Contrary to the Western no pain, no gain concept, an hour of Tai Chi actually burns more calories than surfing and almost as much downhill skiing, so this exercise is truly a sport. But that's just one of its many benefits. Apart from increasing strength, flexibility, body awareness and mental concentration, Tai Chi can also improve your health. First Part Breathing, Formation, and Style Warm up with correct and focused breathing. Like other martial arts, Tai Chi isn't just about how fast and strong you can split a board or hit a guy. A big part of this is having a firm grip on your mind. To clear your mind, focus on your chi, and tap into your potential, you have to start with your breathing, which, in turn, will center you. Place your feet apart at shoulder level, not further apart. Place your hands on the lower abdomen, about 5 centimeters below the navel. Push in a little. Breathe in and out slowly through your nose, lips tight but not tightly, from your stomach area. If you can't feel this area move, push it with your hand a little more. Watch the following picture. Concentrate with all the parts of your body one by one. Once this breathing feels normal, begin to relax with each part of your body one by one. Start with your feet and work your way up to your scalp. Make it as small as possible, even your fingernails. You will realize that you are actually tense. If you start to wiggle, great. That means you are relaxed and your body is not straining to balance. If this happens, Try to adjust your legs or move your concentration back to balance until you are stable again. Watch the following picture. Find your roots. One of the Tai Chi concepts is to take root. It is very clear, imagine the roots growing from under your feet. You are a piece of land, never losing balance, focus, or centering. Your limbs sway like twigs in the wind, never hesitating from fear or anxiety. You are rooted. This position does not mean your legs are stiff. Otherwise, just imagine the roots beneath you, as a part of you freeing your movement because you cannot fall, you cannot fail, and you will always be a part of the natural world. Watch the following picture. Think about your body frame. In Tai Chi, there are several position formations that you can take. Generally, each style has a certain formation. Here's the basic summary, small frame style. In this style, usually the Wu or Hao version, is not very broad. Movements are smaller, quite surprising, huh? And generally less expansion. It focuses on the right internal energy to form the right movements and transitions. Large frame style. Gara Rongabi Sat, Chen and Yang, 
involves low and high standing positions, more dramatic postures, and swinging arms. It emphasizes proper body positioning and alignment to develop energy. There is a medium frame style but it's actually just somewhere in between. If you have any questions, ask your teacher. Part 2. Mastering Movement Try different styles. Since all Tai Chi is beneficial, it is very important that you do it and not worry about which style is right for you. But as you get deeper into that world, you may want to experiment. Here's a brief summary. 4. Chen's style mixes up the tempo, moving slower than becoming explosive. This may be difficult for beginners. Which styles are the most popular? This style has a steady tempo, and as described above, uses large frame movements. This is probably what you think of when you think of Tai Chi. In Wu, the movements are almost microscopic. This makes it easy to do, but hard to master there's a lot of focus on the powerful flow of energy and deep, pressurized movement. This movement is very slow and quiet. Hao's style is not widely used. You likely won't find a teacher to train it. Watch the following picture. Think about more than just making a move. Tai Chi is not about stretching your arms out in front of you. Not. Absolutely not. For each moment, there's a goal, a flow and, for some, a combat application. As you practice, think about this. What does this movement symbolize? How can such a simple movement generate so much energy? Watch the following picture. Try the one whip move. We'll only outline a few here, there are plenty of them, but the fairly standard moves seen in each variation are a whiplash. This is where every point on your arms and upper body is part of the whip, it can explode with a burst of energy at any moment, to the end of the whip. Now it doesn't feel so easy, right? For this movement, Usually one hand remains in the beak hand position. You can probably guess why, it looks like a bird's beak. 
Your four fingers should be touching your thumb and palm. Facing down. As for your arms, each Tai Chi style is slightly different, but they are usually at shoulder height and spread out like wings. Watch the following picture. Make a spreading motion of the crane's wings. For this one, you should always hold your weight on one leg, but always keep both feet on the floor. You will move back and forth as you test your balance. So for your arms it should be the other way around. One should move quickly and on a different level and the other slow and careful, but not weak and lethargic. The name of this move sounds easy, but it has a combat application. Think about it, the position of your weight and arms is always changing. And when you have 100% of your body weight on one leg, it frees up the other to kick. That's your goal. Watch the following picture. Practice pouring. This could be something you do in the checkout line. You simply stand with both feet on the floor, parallel, 
shoulder width apart. Then you put your weight on one leg and hold it, after a few inhalations and exhalations. You begin to slowly pour the weight on the other leg and hold it. Do this for a few minutes, clearing your mind and becoming more aware of your balance. Watch the following picture. Do arm twists. With elbows in front of you and wrists relaxed, begin to twist your arms. Begin at level 1 slowly making finger circles, then wrists, then forearms, and towards the shoulders. Do leg loops too. Sit down and start twisting from your toes to your thighs, bending your knees if necessary. Make sure to do it clockwise as well as counterclockwise. Watch the following picture. Master the snake sneaks down move. Again. This move is slightly different for each Tai Chi style, but the general gist is. The same, move from. A standing position to a lunge in as graceful a way as possible. 9. Once you're there, test your balance with your arms. 
Move on different terrains and at different speeds. Can you hold it? Watch the following picture. Starting from short formations to long formations. For most beginners, you will probably stick to a short formation. That's 1340 moves and usually lasts 530 minutes. But once you get the hang of it, you may want more. This is where the long formation comes in. It contains 80 moves or more and can take more than an hour. 10. Talk about stress relief. Watch the following picture. Thank you.